In this video, we shall try to know as how numbers that we count as 1, 2, and so on evolved. Counting of numbers initially involved fingers of hands and feet. Even today we are successfully using fingers of our hands as calculator and now progress to computer. Today now, we call the numbers that we count 1, 2, 3, and so on as natural numbers, represented as n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, up to infinity. There are two deficiencies in this natural number system. First is, when we subtract a number from the same number, we get nothing, means 0, which does not belong to n. Therefore, we define a new set of numbers called the set of whole numbers, represented as w equals 0, 1, do, 3, char, up to infinity. Second deficiency is, when we subtract a large number from a smaller number, we get a negative number, which again is not a natural number. In order to remove this deficiency, we include both positive and negative numbers in the natural number system. The new set of number is called the set of integers which includes 0 also. Suppose we divide 5 by 2, or 7 by 3, we see the result is not a perfect number, but is either less than 1 or more than 1. On the other hand when we divide 6 by 2, the result is 3, a perfect number, which may be either a n, w, or z. But when we divide a number 1 upon 3, minus 5 upon 9, or maybe like 7 upon 3, minus 12 upon 7, dot the resulting numbers are fractional numbers. Either less than 1 or more than 1. In general we define p upon q as rational number represented as q equals p upon q, p and q belongs to set of integers z or q is not equal to 0. There are some numbers that cannot be expressed as p upon q dot for example, root 2, cube root of 3, dot etc. Here root 2 can be written as root 2, upon 1. But since root 2 is not an integer, therefore root 2 upon 1 is not a rational, hence irrational. So when number that cannot be expressed as p upon q are called as irrational numbers. To understand irrational numbers we choose to define a line first. A line is a set of collection of points which are very very close to each other or we can say just touching each other. When we put an arrow pointing to the same direction dot is a straight line. When we divide this line equally. Some of the point of this line correspond to numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, up to infinity. They are all natural numbers. Now we select an interval O and 1. Dividing this into 10 equal parts. We define each as 1 by 10, 2 by 10, and at last 10 by 10. They are all fractions called rationals. Hence between any two natural numbers there are infinite rationals. Since natural numbers can also be expressed as rationals like 2 upon 1, 5 upon 1 and so on. Therefore we can say between two rationals there always exist infinite rationals. Now when we divide 4 by 5, we get 0 0.8 a 6 by 5, we get 1.2. Now when we divide 4 by 5, we get 0 0.8 a 6 by 5, we get 1.2. Similarly when we divide 1 upon 7 we get 0 0.1428571142857. 1 upon 3 equals Shunya Dasham Lav Teen 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 Teen. If we take numbers like 1.010101 or 1.0100100001. We see three type of numbers 1. Terminating. 2. Non-terminating repeating. 3. Non-terminating or non-repeating. First two type are rationals and third one is irrational. Hence such a line every point of which correspond to either a natural number, whole number, integer, 
rational or an irrational number dot i s called a real number line and so r is a set of all rational and irrational numbers